Hi, I'm Eric Johnson here at the Owen Graduate School of Management, and I'm here today with Sam Samad. Sam is the CFO of Illumina, and uh, so glad to have you here today, Sam. Well, thank you, Eric. Thanks for having me. Well, Illumina is uh, this platform for uh, DNA sequencing. Can you tell us a little bit about that and the, and the story behind it? Yeah, sure. I mean, uh, I'll tell you the, uh, the simple story, but I'll tell you the, the bigger story as well. So uh, Illumina manufactures and produces instruments uh, for sequencing. So anything that ranges from genotyping instruments to all the way to sequencing instruments. So the genotyping instruments are ones where you do microarray analysis on um, anything ranging from agrigenomics all the way to sequencing, looking at uh, you know variants for treatment of cancer, oncology, yeah. doing uh, genetic disease um, uh, sequencing. So basically, uh, we have about almost thirteen thousand instruments approximately deployed around the globe that do sequencing, as I said, and genotyping. But the the larger story is that uh, you know this is uh, Illumina, in my opinion, is changing the world. We've got, uh, you know, when you think about it, Eric, from less than 20 years ago, uh, the cost of sequencing a genome was about $100 million. Mm -hmm. And today it costs less than 1000 And Illumina has identified a path to getting to the $100 genome. So with our instruments, with our consumables that are the reagents that uh, go on the instruments that help with power that research and clinical effort, um, we are really looking at uh, predispositions and really treating very complex diseases. And people talk about how that is really changing healthcare delivery, that that platform is moving delivery from kind of a disease-centric model to a patient, patient-centric patient model. What does that mean? Yeah, so that's, uh, that's very true. I mean, uh, if you think about it today, you know, before you used to have uh, pharmaceutical products that you would prescribe to patients. You would have many choices and you go through a little bit of the trial and error in terms of prescribing certain medications for certain disease states, disease conditions. Today, it's really the, the dawn and the age of precision medicine is here. Yeah. You know, it's all about under, uh, underscoring and discovering predispositions for certain diseases where sequencing becomes much more than just reactionary as things were before, but it's much more proactive about finding out those predispositions, finding out, for instance, certain pharmacogenomic factors, whether you have certain reactions to certain drugs. But also, more importantly, in oncology, it's about looking at, you know, how you respond to certain mm -hmm. treatments. So it could span anything from, you know, doing screening to looking at potential treatment options, looking at biomarkers. By doing sequencing of whether it's a tumor or, um, you know, for a certain cancer patient, you can really understand how they're going to be treated effectively down the road. So we look at five key markets in our, uh, in our space. Uh, Illumina is really focused on five key markets, or five key applications, I would call them. NIPT, which is non-invasive prenatal testing, which is for patients uh, that are pregnant mothers, you know, that look for a certain blood test to look at, uh, you know, the health of the baby, certain genetic conditions. We look at rare undiagnosed disease, which is for, uh, once again, discovering and diagnosing genetic diseases that, uh, you know, if left untreated, if left unchecked, you know, essentially will lead to some very, very serious complications. We look at oncology, you know, obviously that's a really, really big market for us. We look at population genomics, which is an initiative that you'll hear a lot more about where health systems, you know, systems like the NHS, for instance, do these large studies, large initiatives where they enroll sample of people, of patients, and look at, uh, you know, essentially diagnosing un and, and finding really, getting more information about management of cancer, management of, uh, and diagnosing genetic yeah. disease. And then finally, we have an application or a market which is consumer genomics. It, a lot of people have probably heard about it. It's the Ancestry DNA companies, it's the 23andMe, where we do a lot of the testing, usually through microarrays, genotyping, um, for processing certain kits, which then you know, tell the patient something about themselves. Sure. Sure. Uh, so those are, those are the areas that we participate in. All are focused on the patients. Now, you've been around healthcare for a long time, long before Illumina, a long career at Cardinal Health and, and other healthcare-related firms before that. When you think about the healthcare system in the U.S. and how we're delivering healthcare today, uh, where do you see the opportunities? What excites you uh, when you think about that? Yeah, so you're right. I mean, I've worked in different companies, different parts of healthcare. So I started out more on the product side, on the pharmaceutical side with Eli Lilly. And, you know, what a fantastic company. I 
basically spent almost 13 years there looking more at the innovation process with how do we get a product from discovery all the way to the patient, so mm -hmm. pharmaceutical product. Then I worked on the more distribution, but much more also diversified healthcare side with Cardinal Health. And you and I worked a lot together when I was there. Um, and now I've, I've transitioned to Illumina. And you know, obviously I'm biased today because mm -hmm. that's where I am, but this is where I'm really excited and passionate about. Because you know, I see a world, Eric, uh, not today, although we are starting that journey today, but in a few years, in, in a number of years, and I won't say how long, um, where a patient can basically be sequenced a number of times throughout their lifetime, not just once, but a number of times. So today you have less than 0.02% of all humans have been sequenced. That's nothing. Yeah. It's a drop in the bucket. Yeah. I see a future where, let's, let's, let's give an example, for instance, oncology. You could have a patient sometime in the future, you know, where they get sequenced and by doing a circulating tumor DNA test, you know whether they have certain types of cancer. So that's basically a screening test. Then let's say, you know, unfortunately they, they get diagnosed with a certain type of cancer. Then you, they get sequenced again to understand what treatment options might work for them. Not the, hey, let's try a bunch of things and see what happens, but let's actually sequence this tumor and understand how they can respond to certain treatment and then prescribe them this really expensive medication, as you know. And today, by the way, less than 10%, you know, in the single digits of all tumors get sequenced. So still tons of opportunity. Then as they progress through the therapy, they will get sequenced again to see how they're responding and then potentially, you know, get sequenced for maintenance. So I see a world where that happens, you know, throughout the course of our lifetime, a number of times, and not just for patients that are, you know, that have a disease, but could be also for certain predispositions to understand whether you have certain risk factors, pharmacogenomic factors, if you're gonna be prescribed certain medication, to understand how you're gonna respond, whether you're gonna, they're gonna be effective for you or not. So there's so much opportunity out there. We're just at the, this is still at the, the first inning. Well, one of the things I love about my job is I get to uh, meet lots of leaders like yourself that have had incredible leadership journeys. I know in your case, uh, different leadership positions in finance, across a number of different companies and now a CFO of a major publicly traded company. Can you share a leadership lesson? Yeah, so I'll share one in terms of, you know, one that was provided to me and one that I always like to think to myself that I need to provide to others, which is the, and I call it the, the mentor, sponsor, champion uh, lesson, mentor, you know. Mentor, sponsor, champion. Mentor, sponsor, champion. And I'll talk a little bit about the differences between those because, you know, I'm here today and a lot of us in, in senior roles are, are here because somebody actually took a bet on them. Mm -hmm. You know, somebody uh, sponsored them and said, you know what, I'm going to basically push you because I see something in you that a lot of people don't see, but I think is going to take you far if you realize that potential. And you know, I have had a handful, probably less than three, of very, very influential uh, sponsors and, and that have championed me. So the reason I say mentor, sponsor, champion is because that's a philosophy that I've developed, which is that I have to pay that back to others. You know, if, if, if I'm only looking out for my own career, then, you know, obviously my head needs to be checked because I need to pay back to those, you know, in certain roles a lot more, those that have that potential. And so, you know, I could take on roles and, and we all know time is definitely, uh, you know, it's challenging to find the time. <laughs> but, uh, you know, there are some that I, I mentor and those are not necessarily people that I'm going to say, hey, you know, I am basically just banking that you're going to be a person, uh, you know, I'm not going to put everything and I'm not going to invest everything in your success. I'm just going to give you some advice and I'm going to sure. spend some time, you know, essentially just help you along, help you, along you know, get some ideas, etc. Then others, I'm going to take it much further. I'm going to say, you know what, I see something in you. I'm going to sponsor you. I'm going to push you forward. And then finally, I think the, the pinnacle would be the championship model or championing model, I should say, where you say to a person, you know what, um, you know, you and I are basically going to be uh, joined at the hip <laughs> and I'm going to drive you forward because I think, you know, your success is my success and vice versa. And, and uh, you know, if, if, uh, if we can find the time for that, then, you know, this is, I think, how we pay back a lot of the people that have helped us get here. That's great. Well, thanks so much for spending the day with us at Vanderbilt, Sam. Thank you, Eric, and my pleasure.